Hi everyone! Welcome to another Qigong live class. For those of you who are new here, my name is Kseni and I'm a Qigong instructor. I do weekly live classes as well as share Qigong videos and tips so you can learn Qigong and incorporate it into your daily life. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, uh, please consider doing so. Just the button under the video. And otherwise, go ahead and get started. We're about to begin today's practice. Here we go. So um, find uh, yourself a comfortable place where you can relax and forget about everything. Stand up nice and tall. Roll your shoulders back. Open your belly. Relax your lower back. Soften your knees and find a position that feels good. And raise both hands up. Inhale. Exhale down. And again. Inhale up. Exhale down. We do four times. Nice and easy. Exhale out. Inhale again. And exhale down. Twice more like that. Inhale through the nose and go up. Exhale through the mouth, relax down. Very good. Next, as we inhale, we're going to come up on our toes, reach up. Exhale down, bend your knees and come. Raise your hands up, go up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Go up. And exhale down. Twice more like that. Exhale down. All the way to the top. And exhale down. Very good. Relax the hands by the side. And next we're going to move on to the simple hip rotation. I'm going to come up a bit closer. What we want to do, we want to create motion mostly in the hip area. So keep your shoulders nice and relaxed. And bring your attention to the lower part, the lower body. So we do eight times clockwise. And then change and do eight in the other direction. So four more to go here. And the last right. And then gently roll in a different direction. Breathe naturally. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. Okay, four more to go. This exercise is very good uh, for the hips. It helps to increase the blood flow uh, down the hips and down the legs, as well as makes them more supple. Okay, gently roll back to center and relax your lower back. Very good. Next, we're going to do the knee rotation. So gently go down, circle the knees and come back up. Also do them eight times. Bend the knees and roll. Very good. Three more to go.
then come back up and then roll in a different direction, also eight times. Okay, four more to go. This exercise is very good for the knees. So if you have any knee problems, it's a good one to do. It helps to gently warm up the muscles without putting too much pressure on those joints. Very good, the last one here, come back up. And then you can shake off your legs if you need to. Otherwise, go ahead and put your feet together. What we're going to do, we're going to do a Qigong knee tapping. So we're going to inhale, and then as we exhale, we're going to come to the chair pose and tap those knees. Okay, so let's begin. Inhale, and exhale, tap. You can really let the air out of your lungs completely. Open your mouth and let it all out. And then as you're finished, come back up. Inhale again. Bend the knees and top. Very good. The last one here, inhale. Bend your knees and tap. And then come back up. Very good. Keep your feet there. Next movement for the knees, and we're going to inhale again, and then slide and come to the chair pose, just with a little more support from our hands. So keep your hands on your knees. And then what we're going to do is we're going to press the knees and flatten the back. So we have a nice gentle stretch at the back of the legs, okay? And then come back up. So the breathing on this one, we inhale, and then as we exhale, press out, flatten your back and keep your knees nice and straight. Feel that little stretch at the back of your legs and then inhale, come to a chair pose and relax. Inhale again and exhale, press your knees out. Come back, inhale. Last one here, inhale and exhale out. And gently come back up. Very good. Again, you can shake off your hands and hands and legs, everything to the side. And next we're going to uh, massage the ankle and the um, feet. So I want you to come up on your toes if you can see that, just gently raise up and spread your toes so you find that balance that gives you a real nice stability. And then bend your knees and come on your heels. And then rock forward, come on your toes again. Roll back. Come up. And down. Again, the breathing on this one. Inhale as we go up. Exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. You can use your hands to help you guide your breath. So inhale, go up, exhale down. Twice more, inhale up, exhale down. And the last one, inhale up and exhale down. Very good. Then shake off your feet again. And I want you to shift the weight on one leg and I want you to raise your right leg in front of you, just about 90 degrees. And then if you can, grab your knee and your ankle and pull your leg towards the body. If you can't quite do that right now, so you can keep your leg straight here. So what I want you to do is just to find that balance and just Stay with me for about 30 seconds, okay? If you feel comfortable, if you feel confident, then grab that leg. So we stand for about 20 seconds. You want to feel that nice 
gentle stretch, sorry, nice gentle stretch at the side. Okay, breathe normally. Remember, do not hold your breath at any point, so always breathe in, always breathe out. And then I want you to let this leg go and we're going to circle the knee. Again, you can put the hands out for more stability and then circle the other way. Very good. Relax your leg down and let the hands relax by the side. The same we do with the other leg. So again, if you're not quite sure, keep your leg here is just as good for the body balance and for the coordination. Otherwise, go ahead and grab that knee and ankle, open the hip and pull it towards your body. You might feel a gentle stretch on the side. So we do that for about 20 seconds as well. Very good. Let go. Bring your hand up and do a circle movement with your knee. And then the other way. Very good. Relax your leg down. And we're going to finish the leg warm up with a tapping. So begin tapping your hip bones. Then move onto your glutes. Tap your glutes and then Tap the side of the leg all the way down. Very good. We do that three times. Begin with the glutes and come all the way down. And one more time. And then move on the inner side and we're going to come up. Tap the inside of the knee the thighs and finish at the hips again. Go down and tap. And the last time. Very good. Relax the hand by the side. So by now, your lower part, the lower body really should feel nice and warm. You can feel the blood rushing up and down, the energy building up, so that's great. Take a nice deep inhale through the nose. And easy long exhale down. One more time. Inhale up. Exhale down. And again, inhale up. Exhale down. Last one here. Breathe in through the nose and then easy long exhale through the mouth. Very good. Float both hands forward. I'm gonna show you. So extend your both hands forward. Keep your elbows straight and your knees straight and then what we're going to do we're going to stretch forward all the way from the shoulder blades as we inhale and then as we exhale soften your knees bend your elbows and relax down inhale extend both arms forward stretch up and then exhale bend the elbows and calm down. So it's kind of like a moving 
stretching exercise when you stretch forward and then relax down. One more time. Inhale, stretch forward. Exhale, bend your elbows. Very good. Keep your hands here and then draw them towards the chest. Bring both hands closer to the chest and then extend to each side. Very good. What we're going to do is we're going to inhale and then stretch through the side, opening the chest. Exhale, bend the elbows, bend your knees and relax down. Twice more. Inhale, stretch out. Exhale, relax. Again, continue breathing. Inhale. As we stretch, exhale. Last one here. And then relax. Very good. Keep your hands there. We're going to turn the hands palms facing the sky, and then going to raise both hands above the head, turn the wrist, and do the same stretch upward. So keep your knees straight and stretch all the way to the sky. Bend your elbows, soften your knees, relax down. And again, inhale, stretch upward. Exhale, relax down. Inhale, go up. Exhale, down. And the last one. Inhale, stretch your body, lengthen your spine, reach up towards the sky, and then gently turn your palms facing down and lower both hands in front of the body. Releasing, relaxing, very good. Perfect. Then raise both hands above the head again. And then inhale, drop your elbows behind. Then as you exhale, we're going to lean forward. Then gently turn your head to the right, to other side, to the right and look up, exhale down, inhale, drop the elbows back, exhale, forward bend, turn to the other side, raise up, look up to the sky, exhale, drop your elbows. Inhale and exhale, lean forward. This time look right, stand up. And exhale at the top. Inhale, lean forward and exhale down. Inhale up. And exhale the top. Inhale. And then exhale, drop down. Look right. And the last one here. Exhale down. Look to the left. And then gently bring both hands down in front of the body. Now place both hands on your lower back and the kidney area. And we're going to keep our hips nice and still and do a waist rotation. So do that eight times clockwise and then change and do the same in a different direction. 
So now your upper body is moving. So all that tension at the lower back, shoulders. Try to keep your neck nice and relaxed. Do not move it that much. It might cause a discomfort or some small pain. Okay, two more to go. And then pause and roll to the other side. This exercise helps to gently warm up the back muscles, stretch the lower back. It's a very good exercise to do in the morning to shake off the morning stiffness. And if you have any lower back pain, it's also a good way to eliminate and relieve that pain. Okay, very good. Last two. And then gently stand back up, relax your hands by the side. Next movement, we're going to float both hands forward and then bend the knees, open the hands wide to the side and look up. Then exhale, bend forward and swing both hands up. Keep your back nice and flat and your head straight. Then inhale, bend your knees and open your chest to the sky. Exhale down. You can drop your neck to give it a little rest if you want, but try to keep your back nice and straight. Okay, we do four times. Inhale, open. Exhale down. Inhale, open. Exhale down. Two more to go. Open, bend your knees, look up. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale up. Exhale down. Very good. And then bend your knees, come up, look up again, and then gently bring your hands down. Next movement is called turn around and look at the moon. So we're going to shift the weight uh, on the right leg and then swing the torso to look behind and kind of raise on your toe. So as we turn the torso, we lift the left leg and then gently come back to center, shift weight to the other leg and look behind. So it's a simple back twist, but with a little twist. So the breathing on this one, we inhale, turn back, Exhale, come back to center. Inhale and turn. Come back to center. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Very good. Last one to the left. Come back. Inhale, go, and gently come back to center. Very good. Take a nice deep inhale through the sides, and exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down, and the last one here, go up, and exhale, 
Very good. So bring your feet together and we're going to step into a small lunge to the side. So find a, a little half a meter to each side. So bring your feet together and then bend your knees and kind of step into the horse stance. Okay? And then bring both hands in front of you and make them into loose wrist. So just keep them right outside the rib cage. Kind of like warrior pose. And then what we're going to do is we're going to uh, turn, shift the weight to the um, left hand, in my, left leg in my case. So uh, by mirroring you, so it might be the right leg. So basically shift the weight to one leg, whatever uh, is uh, feels right to you. And then turn your heel as well as your hips and we're going to extend the hand forward, open the palms and stretch out. So we want to get this nice diagonal stretch. Okay, and then spiral your wrist, get the fingers and then gently bring the hand back. Turn in the heel and come back to a horse stance. Then we do the same to the other side. So first pivot the leg, the feet, and then go and stretch out. Opening the hand, the fingers, and then spiral around and bring the hand back. Very good. Okay, let's do two more. So first, turn the leg and hips and torso and release the hand. Spiral around, bring the hand back as you gently shift the weight back to center and come back. Very good. Turn to the other side. The heel, the hips, the hand, and look at your hand. Spiral and gently turn back, bringing the hand back. Very good. One more time. Turn. Release. Feel that nice gentle stretch. Spiral around and gently come back. Shift the weight, turn the feet, turn your hips, extend the hand, and then spiral. Very good. Gently raise up, shift the weight to one leg, and come to center. Take a nice deep inhale through the nose. And easy, long exhale. One more time. And exhale. Go up. And exhale down. Twice more like that. Exhale down. And the last one here. Breathe in and breathe out. Okay, very good. Okay, moving on to um, the session. So I want you to place both hands in front of the lower abdomen. Slayer elbows are slightly bent. The knees are nice and soft, the feet are parallel. And we're going to inhale and raise the hands up. Look up through the fingers, bend your knees and lean back a little bit. And then exhale down through the sides. Very good. 
Inhale, go up. Bend your knees, lean back, open in the front of the body and exhale through the side. The last one, inhale, bend your knees and look up, stretch the front of the body, exhale out. Very good. Place both hands in front of you. The next we're going to inhale and then exhale, lean forward, keep your back nice and flat. Place both hands in front of you, palms facing the ground. Then we're going to raise up the body, fall over the hands all the way to the top and then turn your hands and bring down. Very good. One more time. Inhale, go up. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, place the hands down as we go up. Exhale, down. And the last one here. Inhale, go up. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, place your hand in front of you, go up. Exhale out. Release and relax every muscle of your body. Very good. Okay. And now we're going to finish today's session with a breathing flow. So it helps to calm the body, calm the energy, and calm the mind. It's called the three treasures. So the three energy centers that we have in our body. So we're going to uh, nourish them, build up more energy, and make sure we have enough for today and for, for the rest of our life. Okay, so bring both hands in front of the lower abdomen. And stay here for just a second. Find a position there where you can relax, soften your knees, roll your shoulders back, drop your elbows, relax your neck. And now we're going to inhale and extend the arms slightly forward and to the side, expand in the area in front of the stomach, and then draw the hands back in. Okay, so inhale, open, and then exhale, close. Inhale, open, and exhale, close. Inhale, open, and exhale, close. So you can breathe through the nose, very slow, very mindful, very light breathe. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Very good. Then keep your hands here and gently raise both hands to about heart level, the second energy center. And we're going to inhale and open the hands to the side. Exhale, draw the hands back towards the chest and heart. Inhale and exhale. Every time you inhale, imagine like the space in front of the chest expands. As you exhale, draw your attention inward and feel the energy in between your hands. Open, inhale and open. Exhale. 
Inhale, open. Exhale. Inhale, open. And exhale. Again, you can breathe nose, nose, or you can breathe nose, mouth. It's up to you. Try to allow your breath to match the movement. So when you inhale, open your hands and then exhale, draw them back to the chest. Okay, and the last one here. Keep your hands here for just a moment. And again, feel the space between your fingers. And then raise both hands to about forehead. And we're going to do the same spiral movements, gathering energy and bring it towards the head. Inhale, open, exhale, bring the hands to the head. This exercise helps to clear the mind, get rid of any negative thoughts, so we feel focused, we feel sharp. Inhale and exhale. Inhale. Allow your brain to switch off and bring your attention to the present moment. Feel how the air is passing through your fingers and gently washing up your head. Very good. And now we're going to bring the hands just above the head, the crown of the head, and then turn the palms facing upward and gently press up. Keep this position for just a few seconds. Observe your body, feel the sensations. And then take a nice deep inhale, turn your hands and bring them down in the center. Gently place them on the lower back, on the lower abdomen, excuse me. Bring your feet together, close your eyes and take a moment to feel, to notice how your body feels. Should feel nice and relaxed. Okay, open your eyes and let go of the hands. Thank you very much for joining me today. Uh, and I hope to see you next Sunday here on my channel. So please subscribe if you haven't already and have a great Sunday.